Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. Hope everyone is doing good, staying safe. If you have not yet subscribed to Quantity Surveying Studio, please do subscribe for quantity surveying, cost management related videos. Do let your friends, colleagues who are working in this field about this channel. Like, share your comments about the videos through any of my social media channels. So without further delay, let's move into the video. This video will be on the elemental cost plan for the electrical installation works. So NRM1 is mainly used in most of the countries UK, Middle East and elemental cost plan is basically made or prepared during the different design stages, the conceptual design, the schematic design during each stage till the detailed design stage when the designs get modified we make these cost plans using NRM1 and finally when everything is finalized to float the tender the NRM2 is used which has a detailed BOQ provided. So here in this video I will be mainly focusing on the electrical works only the code for which is 5.8 this is just a general brief of what the electrical installation is about definition electrical works as you know it is the main source and the distribution the different power is distributed how the lighting distribution is done how what is the source all those is covered under this section functional definition is similar to definition itself why this is used and just to mainly provide the electrical power and to control the different items light levels power sockets and mainly if no details are given we use the floor area for the measurement purpose but then when each design state gets updated drawing starts coming so we get to quantify the different elements based on numbers or length if it is cables on length the trays fittings and all the other like the light fittings and power sockets all those things will be under numbers but if no proper drawings or if it is incomplete we mainly use the floor area for measurement and the cost and measurement is done separately for each system so under electrical section itself there are different systems which we'll be looking into in the further slides so under each system we separate it these are some design details which is usually required when we make the elemental cost plans obviously the outlet points and light fittings and as different stages that gets developed this keeps on developing initially there might be just a conceptual design stage there might not be detail about the uh, number of points available or anything like that but this is just like a basic details that is required to update your elemental cost plan the electrical load illumination levels the capacity of the electricity generation then emergency generation capacity then the ups capacity there are square meter rates for each capacity we have the kva rates based on the historical data each consultant will be having some rates with them they are the ones who have these historical data and for them it is more useful contractors and subcontractors are mostly involved during the final tender boq stage where they will be putting up their rates so during that stage they will be having all the required details so that won't be a problem so during this stage these are the basic details required first section under 5.8 is 5.8 one is electrical mains and sub mains distribution the so what this is it is just the all works from external phase of building up to and including the distribution board so it includes the different equipment switch gears transformer then the cables coming from the main source to these equipments and then till the distribution boards are things all those conduits trunking tray fittings through which the cables move all these are included in this section and basically uh, the exclusion is the external things photovoltaic panels wind turbines so these will be covered under a section called 8.7 which is for the external services next is power installation mainly the small power system general purpose power supplies and supply to this installation so you have your sockets then the wiring and cables outlet points ups system conduits and trunking used for these power sockets then some switches and earthing for these socket outlets and exclusions are the electrical heating installation final construction connections to installation and equipment and other elements carried out by suppliers so the sockets and this outlets per outlets or the uh, switches usually come under the lighting section but these are switches like there might be switches in within the socket so that might come under this section earthing there is a different section for earthing that is specifically for not the base any individual system so this earthing is mainly for power related work so if you move to the previous slide also there was earthing here so this earthing this is earthing related to the main distribution main sense of main distribution this is earthing for the power installation work then we have the lighting 
lighting installation lighting is as you know the light fixtures so all the wiring cables for that switches again controls and sensors conduits and trays for the lighting purpose usually the we don't much do the measurement of wiring and cables in lengthwise it is usually point wiring so how many lights are there that much will be will be putting a rate for a point wiring and also the conduit tray trunking also we separately it will be usually included within this point wiring so this is just all this system doesn't mean that we have to include all these items separately sometimes we will be including the rate with two three items together so point wiring and control conduits all those will be in one heading one description and the rates will be for each system we like each light fixture and the exclusions are also given external lighting again it comes under the external services section then the bms system will be under 5.12 communication security and control system so only the controls and sensors for the lights are included here again if you go back earthing for the light lighting system is included earthing again is included under the point wiring system there is not a separate measurement being done for the earthing so the rates are included for earthing also for point wiring conduiting and earthing conduiting or tray system all these will be usually coming under one description then specialist lighting installation 5.8.4 these are some specialist light like display lighting illuminated sign stage lighting so anything special other than the normal interior lighting comes under this section so it's almost similar to the whatever are included is almost similar to the normal lighting installation then the local electricity generation system here comes the photovoltaic tiles panels eps generator wind turbine fuel storage for the generators wiring fittings and equipment controllers again some exclusions central heat and power boilers comes under 5.5 heat source photovoltaic tiles forming part of the roof comes under 2.3 roof solar heating panels comes under 5.5 heat source external electricity comes under 8.7 external fuel storage whatever is external comes under external services 8.7 whatever is coming internally will be included under 5.8.5 local electricity generation system then this is what i said a different section is there for earthing and bonding so the tapes earthing roads which is the earthing roads earthing pits cabling and connectors excludes earthing provides with individual system so all the individual system earthing is already rates will be included in each individual system section whatever is the tapes or the earthing roads that comes outside where all the electric system all the earthing system will be connected and fed outside there will be electric and earthing pits earthing roads will be inside that pits and to ground basically to ground these earthing into the under the soil for that purpose this system is being used basically these were the main systems you can pause each and read through them to get into detail just a straightforward ppt that are made these inclusion exclusions all have directly taken up from the nrm1 the riba nrm1 document almost all the items have been covered under electrical system thanks a lot for watching this video take care bye